So, Paul, considering the importance of financial freedom in an interconnected world, how do you envision Raptorium contributing to the creation of a more equitable and accessible global financial system, eliminating the barriers imposed by centralized systems? Uh, well, I suppose you can break it down into a few points. Uh, for the Raptorium project. Uh, the first is uh, decentralization. Uh, blockchain tech and naturally Raptorium's decentralized nature uh, removes the need for a central authority uh, to control financial, financial transactions. Um, this can reduce the risk of uh, censorship and uh, and the interference from centralized entities. Uh, then another thing to think about is um, accessibility. Uh, so Raptorium could provide uh, financial services to people who are uh, unbanked or, or the underbanked, where they don't have enough, <laughs> giving them access to uh, a global economy. Uh, users will only need an internet connection uh, to participate. Uh, you could look at the you could look at the fees side of things as well. Uh, so, like um, traditional financial systems, often involve intermediaries. Uh, that can lead to transaction fees. Uh, Raptorium could reduce those fees or eliminate them altogether. Uh, making the transactions cost effective uh, especially for things like cross-border transactions being uh, a decentralized chain um, I suppose as well you could look at the security side of things as well uh, because Raptorium uses cryptographic techniques and distributed ledger technology uh, that enhances the security, reducing the risk of fraud, uh, and also unauthorized unauthorized access to financial assets and instruments and things like that. Uh, we're lightly private as well, so we could talk about privacy. Um, we've got features such as mixing, allowing users uh, greater control over their financial. Uh, transactions. Um, I suppose that's important in regions where privacy is a concern, uh, where there's a lot of, uh, you know, surveillance I mean, on your transactions. I and mean, things. I mean, it's no different, really, from basically saying that if you go and purchase something with your credit or debit card the shop you're purchasing it from shouldn't have access to your max balance on your debit card shouldn't have access to your ma uh, max purchase limit on your credit card or anything even remotely along those lines that's none of their business they should just be able to verify the individual transaction taking place yeah yeah Another point you could talk about is smart contracts. Uh, smart contracts are self-executing contracts with the terms directly in the code. Uh, so Raptorium can automate and enforce agreements, uh, again, reducing the need for intermediaries. And accessibility on a global scale is another one I can think of. Uh, RTM operates on a global scale and it provides access to services for anyone with an internet connection. Uh, and that can break down geographical barriers and uh, enable more equitable participation in, in a future financial system. Hope that answers your question.